they created, and we kept babbling. And uh, that says a lot about those guys that walked out of here and the guys in the football team. Uh, they're, they're, they're a special group of guys that we've been blessed to go to battle with uh, all year. This is a, uh, I, I think they, they would say this is a sweet victory uh, in Vermilion. Uh, a, a great rivalry, great um, environment for a football game, and I think in a lot of ways a, 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 an entertaining football game. Bottom line, we won. That's our goal, one and all. And, and uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be around these guys. And our coaches. A tremendous group of men. Can I, I say one more thing? I, I, Coach, Coach uh, Glenn and his staff, uh, that's a different football team this year than we faced last year. And I don't mean they, they changed some guys out. I mean uh, they play a different and uh, they, they're going to win a lot of football games in his tenure here uh, if they stay the course. And uh, he's a good man, and they're doing a good job. And that, that was that was a good football team we were blessed to win uh, to beat them today. Defense got put some some tough spots late and, and responded a bunch of times. Um, what what enabled them to do that? I think uh, Clint. I'm going to give credit to a coach. Uh, Clint was much more aggressive today than he's been, and there, because of that, there were some big plays. Uh, because of that, I think guys looked open at times, but we still were after the quarterback. Uh, uh, there were some tired guys out there in the field uh, at the end of the game, red and blue, red and yellow, and uh, uh, our guys kept battling. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of belief and uh, good calls. What was your emotion like from the fumble to the pick? That would be the lowest of lows and then the highest of highs within about a minute span. Well, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I prayed a lot today about being calm. And if you ask the officials, I didn't get that done. Uh, but uh, at that point, I just believed we were going to win that football game. And uh, when Winston inter intercepted that ball, the norm is to take a knee, right? And uh, he didn't listen to me as he ran by me on the sidelines. <laughs> Uh, and so it was a special moment, special moment for a lot of Jackers. Were you actually yelling at him, didn't you? I did. I, early, early I did, but then, I, then after it cleared up, I thought uh, uh, he'd go all the way. So. And, and thank goodness we didn't have a dumb penalty. I'm very, very disappointed in the penalties we had after playing so well for so many games, but uh, that was an intense football game. Uh, Coach, you guys have a bunch of bunch of guys go down with the game. Some came back, some didn't. But how did you guys sort of um, work through that? And uh, you know, and, and we're ending series and operating where you want going forward. Well, that, I think it starts with a philosophy. Uh, Terry, you've heard me say this: mm -hmm. that when a guy goes down, we don't hang our head up. You know, we, if we got eleven guys, we're going to play with eleven guys. Ideally, we have the guys in the right uh, position. And uh, Dylan Sider went in, who wasn't even on the bus until three days ago. Um, in terms of uh, was a defensive end going or was uh, Dylan going or, or was Mike Schaff going. Uh, and so uh, that's just our mentality. I think players, I don't know if they feed off it, but when they go out on the field, they know we're not hanging our heads or you know, whining. They're, they're, we're saying go out there and get it done. And I, I think that's huge in our program. John, I thought what uh, Jason Snyder has meant your team in terms of, I mean, he's really become a go-to, he's been a go-to guy all season long. Yeah, he has. Uh, Jason, uh, early in his career, it was very hard on himself, and it prevented him from being a great football player because he wasn't able to play in the present. You make an error, and then he, 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 he lost two or three plays, practice games, and he's fought through that, credit to him. He's a very smart young man. He's going to be a pharmacist, and uh, he's able now to uh, Focus on the task at hand and, and do some great things. And and he and and Austin have a special thing going. Uh, and he's a big target. You know, he can run well. He's a big target. He can cut and move. And, and he has the confidence now to make the play. He has sent uh, Carlson out for his first career field goal attempt. Was that just because of the length? Or how? Yeah, just solely because of the length. We always say this is Justin Siravaka's distance, and this is uh, Carlson's different diff distance. And uh, uh, it was at that point where it was a no-brainer who should kick it. Uh, I do think we put some pressure on him on saying kick it and then switching out the kicker. So uh, that's a coaching error. And, and that puts, you know, why put pressure on the players? If I'd have been sharp, I'd have called a time out there, called him in the back and said, hey, get, just make it. And I think he would have kicked it more solid. That was a long field goal. Did that happen to you?
kind of a roller coaster season for you. How does it feel to be going back up that roller coaster again? Uh, well, it feels good. Um, Mark, uh, you know, our, our personality of our whole program is, is to to never look about at, at these these events in the season. And so when you said that, I thought, you know, some disappointments. But we get, I, I think we do a really good job of focusing win or lose on, on what's next. And so uh, there's been some disappointments. I've, I've never uh, seen uh, our Jackrabbit team in my tenure, uh, maybe as down, but uh, more down than after the Missouri State game. But that's when they rolled up their sleeves and went back to work. And so I'm proud of them. Early thoughts on the opportunity that's there next week now? Uh, not right now. I, I, I know Youngstown's a really good football team. I survey everybody. I'm asking the officials who's better. And they, they gave, uh, uh, and, and I asked uh, USD who's better, and they, they, they praised the Youngstown. So we're going to have a work cut off for us. Right now, I just want a two hour bus ride back to Brookings and enjoy it with these guys. Coach, in, in a year's time, what stands out about what the USD team you saw last year, the, the squad you played today? Uh, um, well, they play really hard, all right? Uh, and that, that's a sign of a team that believes in what's going on. You know, you don't see a guy giving up on a play. And so I, I would go deeper to a belief in what's going on and belief in coaches and schemes and stuff. Uh, they, they're running a lot of the same schemes. Uh, they're not, not as much quarterback run with Earl as Vandermont, but I think Vandermont's pretty scary with every time. So. Coach, aside from the Nebraska game against the SES, you know, like you're undefeated when you let somebody pass for 300. Um, that's a weird stat. Is there something to that? In, in other words, if you're, you know, pretty good against the run, you give up some pass yards and sort of work your way through that. Uh, only you guys come up with stats like that. I mean, you do a little research nationally, and I'll comment on that on Thursday. Right? Uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, surely there's different reasons for that. You know, late in the game where you're playing deeper, maybe, uh, you know, and they're throwing the ball more. Uh, I would say, I don't know. Terry, uh, I just want to win. I want our guests to win. So that's an interesting stat, though. A couple more questions. Your, your thoughts on how your guys, you guys, the one kind of nightmare shooter, we had the three false starts in, in four plays, but um, thoughts on how they handle just the uniqueness of, of today and the rivalry in the new venue and even the, even the bus right now? I, I don't think, as a coach, you can paint uh, the picture of, of an environment like this. You have to be in it. And uh, Brian Witzman's played a lot of football. For him to fall start, uh, I think is I would give their crowd advantage. Uh, Kyle, uh, and I think there's a lot of venues like that, and we've had that also at our place. Um, Brandon Huber jumped just before that when their D line was in the neutral zone, and, and uh, kind of goofy, but he didn't. He thought the ball was going to be snapped. So uh, that's those are two seniors that played a lot of football. The game's never perfect. As much as I want it to be, the game is never perfect. You talked to Tyler Starr after the game. What, what was that conversation, just out of curiosity? I just told him I, uh, it's been a treat to compete against him and that I thought he was one of the best football players that we've ever had to scheme against. And I complimented him on, on uh, uh, what they've done in the program, that he'll look back and see that they've started a foundation. He should be proud of that. And he didn't want to talk to me at that time, but hopefully a few of those words, because I am. I, 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 we recruited him. We didn't get him. Uh, he's a good football player, and, and I have no problem searching those guys out, and win or lose, and talking to him, because you get to know him. Recruiting. Final question for Coach. Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, covering Terrence Terry today and how much of a challenge that was? Uh, he's a good football player, and he's a, a skilled uh, uh, guy. Um, I, I, I think, I, I don't think he's the only guy out there, you know, uh, they get a, have a number of guys that you have to uh, stress about. We played a lot more man-to-man -man defense in this game than we've played in any game, to be honest with you. 
we're going to look at the film and see if that was the right decision. Uh, but our guys, our guys acknowledged his ability and hopefully played with a scheme that allowed them to have some success. He's a good football player. I'll, I'll stay here all day. This is kind of fun. So. <laughs> Nick? This guy's done a great job. <laughs>